Failure to follow these instructions or to properly install and maintain this equipment could result in an explosion and or fire causing property damage and personal injury or death. Call a gas service person to service the unit. Only a qualified person must install or service the regulator. To avoid personal injury or property damage from sudden release of pressure, isolate the regulator from the pressure system and release all pressure from the pilot and main valve before performing maintenance operations. Use proper lifting techniques when lifting the upper and lower actuator casings off the EZH or EZHSO series body. The actuator assembly can weigh more than 100 pounds. Please consult the EZH instruction manual for references to specific drawings, key numbers, and part numbers. Depressurize the regulator from the outlet side before loosening any fittings. Remove the pilot control lines attached to the regulator. Follow best practices maintenance procedures. Make sure all surfaces are clean, free from dirt and debris before reinstalling any O-rings and split rings or reassembling any other parts or components. Remove the travel indicator assembly. Remove the O-ring. Inspect the O-ring for damage or wear and replace if necessary. Lubricate the O-ring before replacing it. Remove the cap screws. Carefully lift the cap off the actuator casing. Remove the special screws from the sleeve. Fit eye bolt into the upper spring seat threaded hole. Carefully remove the trim system from the sleeve guide using the eye bolts. Remove the eye bolt from the upper spring seat. Flip the trim system over. Remove the socket head cap screws and lock washers. Lift off the disc retainer and the disc holder assembly. Pull the disc out of the disc holder and inspect for damage or wear. Replace if necessary. Remove the O-ring. Inspect the O-ring for damage or wear and replace if necessary. Lightly lubricate the O-ring before placing it in the sleeve adapter. Place the disc holder assembly onto the disc retainer. Start the reassembly process. Place the disc retainer with the disc holder assembly into the sleeve adapter and align the screw holes. Place the lock washer onto the screws. Screw together the disc retainer assembly into the sleeve adapter. See the instruction manual for proper torque values. Flip the sleeve over. Screw the eye bolt into the upper seat. Lubricate the sleeve. Carefully insert the trim system into the sleeve guide utilizing eye bolt. Align the sleeve utilizing the socket hex cap screw as a guide. Remove eye bolt from the upper seat threaded hole. Screw the special screws to affix the sleeve system. See the instruction manual for the appropriate torque values. Lubricate the edges of the cap. Then carefully place the cap on the upper actuator casing
Screw the eye bolts into the cap. Lubricate cap screws. Attach cap to the upper casing using the cap screws. See the instruction manual for proper torque values. Note: Rotate the cap such that the outer holes for sensing lines are in line with upper casing holes for sensing lines. To validate the alignment and before attaching cap, check that the travel indicator is aligned on the cap and on the upper actuator casing. Mount the O-ring on the space between the cap and the upper actuator casing. Replace the travel indicator assembly. 